The World Countries feature layer is owned by Esri. You'll save a copy of this layer to your ArcGIS Online account so you can change its layer properties to better suit the purpose of your own maps. Click Open in Map Viewer. You need to make a series of tourism maps of Switzerland. Open the Filter pane. Build the expression Country Name is Switzerland. The layer is filtered. You haven't changed the feature layer owned by Esri, you've only changed how it appears in this map. You'll be making multiple maps of Switzerland. Instead of setting the filter every time, you'll save a copy of the layer that is pre-filtered. In the Layers pane, click the Options button and click Save As. For summary, include a URL to the source layer. A new feature layer item was saved to your ArcGIS Online account. Open the Properties pane. The source layer was previously the World Countries layer owned by Esri. Now it is the new feature layer item that you just created. Click the source layer. The item page for the feature layer's sublayer appears. Click Switzerland to view the main item page. A feature layer does not contain any data. Instead, it contains a reference to a data source, plus layer properties. The Switzerland layer references the same data source as the World Countries layer it was created from. If the data source is edited, for example, if a country's name is changed, that edit will appear on the Switzerland layer. Edit the credits text to use the same attribution that is used for the World Countries feature layer, since they use the same data. Next, you'll change some of the layer's appearance properties. You could click Open in Map Viewer and make the changes there. However, those changes would be saved in a web map, so they would only control how the layer appears in that map. For your project, you want to ensure that layer properties are set consistently across multiple maps. So instead, you'll make your changes on the Visualization tab. Any properties you change here will be saved in the feature layer rather than in a web map. They will affect how the layer appears in every map. You'll change some appearance properties so the base map can be seen underneath the layer. Open the properties pane. Change transparency to 40%. Change blending to multiply. Above the map, click save. When you add this layer to new maps, it will have all of the properties set here, including the filter, transparency, and blending settings. You're ready to use the layer in your maps. You'll start with the winter-themed tourism map. In the Layers pane, click Add. From My Content, add the Switzerland layer. You'll change the layer's color to better suit the winter theme. Open the Effects pane. Change the Hue-Rotate effect to make the layer blue. This property is saved in the web map, not in the feature layer. You'll confirm that in the Properties pane. Expand the Information section and click Some Properties are stored in this web map. The layer properties are all listed here. The Appearance Properties section shows that only one property, Effects, is stored in the web map. This means that if you return to the Source layer and make a change in the Effects pane, it will result in no change to this map. All other properties are stored in the source layer. This means that if you change the filter, pop-ups, or any other property of the source layer, those changes will appear on this map. In this case, you own the source layer, so layer property changes won't happen unexpectedly. You don't own the data though, so data changes could still happen unexpectedly. You can use the feature layer to control those properties you want to be consistent across all maps and you can set those properties you want to be different separately in each map. In this tutorial, you learned how to manage layer properties by saving a new feature layer to your account. The data referenced by the feature layer is not owned by you, but all of the layer properties are.